I've been asked by a lot of folks what it was about the school play that, that struck me and made me think it important enough to dedicate leadership time this summer and professional development time this year to. It struck a, a real personal chord with me about education and what education is really all about. Uh, there's a lot of talk today about assessments and our scores and how we do with that, and that's fine and it's important, and I don't try to deride those people and what they know about education. But there's so much more to the sanctity of learning, teaching and learning, that we don't talk about. And the school play hit it all. It's about being personal, developing relationships, and children knowing or any learner, it doesn't even have to be children, I found what works with children works with adult learners as well, is that when they truly know, when they sincerely know that you care about them as an individual, then they're going to be much more in tune with what it is you want to teach them and much more receptive to learning it just because you're the one teaching it. And that's what's the power of relationships. I've had really, really terrible interactions with kids and reflected on it when I got home. And it's okay to come back the next day and say, you know what, I'm, I'm sorry. I was upset in that moment and what happened, it shouldn't have happened that way, but my response to it wasn't really appropriate either. I've done that. I did that with your class last year. Oh, I can't I, Well, I just, I had had a class with them and it went awful right. and I, my response to it was also equally awful and I went back the next day and asked if I could have a few minutes with the class to just say you know what we can all do a little better let's try again right. next week because my it wasn't okay we're human right. right you know just like everybody else and it takes a big person to come back and say you know what I mean even if it's an hour later you know just say to the kids that was not appropriate I'm sorry and think about our kids our population I mean, how often do adults apologize for their behavior? I'm sure it could be quite rare for them. Right. So for us to step up and say, you know, you know, I, I was not appropriate at, for whatever you said. Sometimes you read the kids' faces and you say, let me, let me say that differently. Mm -hmm. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you right. can see that right. you disappointed them right. with the way you've responded, you know. So, but it is about reflecting, too. And we ask the kids to do that. Right. And we I, ask the kids when they make a mistake to reflect on right. their behavior and rethink about that problem. And they're surprised when they hear you say that. You know, when you say, I went home and I thought about that last night mm -hmm. after work. And, right. and now I'm coming back today to say yeah. didn't go the way that I, I would have liked for me either. So let's try again. Well, I think it shows that we care about them and we respect them. I mean, if we didn't care or respect them, we wouldn't bother going home thinking about it and we wouldn't bother, you know, apologizing to them. As you watched school play, you certainly saw a lot of parents with the kids. Thoughts, ideas, feelings? Was it a soccer game? It was some team sport that the dad was watching. Was it Nick, I think? Mm -hmm. um, Joey. 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 Mm -hmm. And I just made me think about sports and drama, and those two things bring out the parents yes, and do. support in such a huge way. And what can we gain from that to bring to school? Like, how can we get that kind of support for what we do? Mm -hmm. And, you know, just watch him, like, giving critiquing his son, give, helping him set a goal, giving him feedback, like really coaching him in his sport and how could we change, how could, why can't that happen in the classroom? Why can't that happen in the school setting? What's the magic formula for, why do you get such a large audience for a play? The parents will all come out to a play. Will they all come to open house? You know, it's like that's... You can be passive, you know, you can just sit there and watch your kid and all the other kids, but when you come to parent-teacher conference or open house or to meet with the teacher, you're overcoming obstacles. Well, what if school was hard for you as a kid? You know, and then you're coming into, oh God, I got to go into that building again and relive all those issues. And then you got to talk about your kid and your kid's a reflection on you. And so parents worry that if it doesn't go well with their kid, that they're going to feel bad too. So I just think there's a lot of walls that go up. So I can still see this one dad who came in my room two years ago and when he walked through that door he was absolute terror 
you know. Mm -hmm. he, w he turned into a fourth grade boy. Right in front of my eyes, he turned into a little boy. And I thought, what better way to bring my staff back than to let them know how important they are in being a caring adult in some young person's life who may or may not have another caring adult. But if they don't, it's even more critical they have somebody at school.